Okay, so next we're going to be creating a one octave piano. And the user interface for this app is created entirely in live code. So we're not going to use any images, we're just going to use live code controls. So let's start by making sure we've got live code running. And we want this app to be completely separate from our Jungle Sounds app. So again, we're going to create a brand new stack. So one stack for each app that you create. So we go to file, choose new main stack and our new main stack will appear a nice blank stack ready for us to start work with. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the name of our app and we do this with our property inspector. Let's go to the object menu and open up the stack inspector and I'm just going to set the name of mine to piano and the title which will appear in the title bar to piano with a capital P. Now we want to set the size of our stack. Now we'll be making a one octave piano, so we want a rectangular stack that's a bit wider than it is tall. Now in the jungle uh, signboard, we had a background image that we wanted to use, so we knew exactly how big we wanted our stack to be. But in this case, we can actually just make it roughly the right size, so something like this. So just drag it out using the arrow key at the that appears at the bottom of your stack and you can make it any size you want but a piano one octave piano nice rectangle it's a bit wider than it is tall we're then going to go to size and position and again we're going to turn off resizable just because we don't want our users to be able to resize the stack now we've set up the basics of our stack we're going to save it so that it's ready for us to just save as on top of whenever we want to so we'll go to file and choose save as and I've got a folder on my desktop called Piano Signboard, just a nice easy place so we'll always remember where it is, nice and easy to find. And in there you'll see that save as piano.livecode at the top. I'm just going to click save and that'll save my stack into this Piano Signboard folder on my desktop. Now before we go any further we want to get our resources file. So again you can download the resources zip file from the uh, tab on the right hand side of uh, the website. Now once you've downloaded your zip file, I've got mine sitting here on the desktop, you want to make sure that it's in the same folder that you saved your stack in. So mine was in my piano signboard folder here on my desktop. So I've copied that in, you can see there's my piano live code, here's my resources. Now you want to unzip that folder. So you now have a resources folder and in there you should have a sounds folder and there's all your sound files. So have your resources folder next to your piano. Again, this is so that the app can find the sounds later. So your resources folder next to your piano, in there there should be a sounds folder and in there you should have all your sound files. Okay, so that's us all ready to get started working on our UI, which is the next step.